afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to WTW. This is the play of the day today. One of the play of the days today in the Stock Swish Show Live Trading Room. And guess what? It was the play of the day on Friday, too. So, not that unusual. Sometimes I get a play of the day the same thing two days in a row. It doesn't happen often, though, but it did today. Because I usually trade something different every day. However, I love this. I like this. I had a lot of conviction this today. I had 100% conviction this today and also Friday, too. Uh, this had a great move in it this morning. This was so aggressive, too. All right, did it right in here. Look what it did. When, <laughs> this is fantastic. I love that it did this right away. So I actually got out here in this tail. I actually got out here in this tail. And then I called a second trade in here and another trade in here. And he could have done it all the way down in here and it broke the low. And even every trade in here was good today. This one was good. This one was good. This one was good. You could have done any one of a number of things with this. I'm all out of this now, though. Larger target on this for an overnight is $20.60, $20.50, $20. You know, let me just look and see where this went to here this afternoon or this late morning. I mean, I, I wouldn't re-go back in to do this today. I wouldn't re-short anything today because of the market. But this is actually setting up in a 15-minute. It's crazy, but it is. It's actually triggering a 15-minute. It's just a huge rally. You're completely against the market now. It's the afternoon. It's 12 o'clock. You know, but this this could actually continue down lower today. I really thought if it got over 55, 60-ish, it was done. But it actually just had a very large rally on the 15-minute, and it's triggering to go lower. So it might. This might continue lower today. I think that the play, though, was the morning the one that I traded, this is still lower in the overall daily chart. That's for darn sure. And um, and I love this gap. And the interesting thing was that not a lot of people had conviction in this gap in the room on Friday. I really had a lot of conviction in it. I love this gap. I'm just whole thing the way it looked. I think what happens is when stocks sometimes gap down a lot, people shy away from them. They get concerned. It closed here at 3058. This is on Friday. It opened down, I mean, this was Thursday. On Friday morning that it opened at 23.09, this is a $7.5 gap down. A lot of people see that. They either want to buy it, think the gap's going to fill itself, or they just don't feel like shorting it. I'm like really one of the only people I know that loves to short large down gaps and can do it successfully. But I really just look at the rating. I look at the rating system. I rate the gap. If it rates high, then I do it. And WTW on Friday rated 23 points. And that's why it worked. And that's why it followed through even lower today. Do you see? It was a highly, highly rated gap. Not only was it over 20, it was 23. So it was a good gap to do, to short. You had to stick with it and stay with it on Friday to get paid. Fell into the low, into the late part of the day. <coughs> Excuse me, today's drop-off was quick. Today's drop-off was really quick, okay? Which I usually like to do them in the morning, hard like that. But if you stuck with it on Friday, it was a nice trade and you got paid. And he would have had to have the conviction to do so. And where would you have gotten that conviction from the gap rating? Understanding the point system helps you take the trade. Whether the gap's down, you know, like this was down seven and a half bucks from the night before or whatever it's down. Understanding the rating system and having that behind you as the crux, the thrust of what you do, helps you trade. It helps you trade not be in fear. It helps me trade not in fear. I couldn't trade if I was in fear. You can't trade in fear successfully. If you're trading in fear, then you're, you're unsuccessful. You cannot trade in fear successfully over the long haul, consistently making money in the market. And so the only way to get to that point where you're out of the fear is through the comprehension and understanding about what's really going on here. What is actually happening, understanding it, and the rating system tells you that because it helps you go point by point by reading the price. And when you do that and look at every single solitary thing, it's like a layering effect. I'm layering over this thing, this reason. Yes, okay, but the yes to that one, yes to that one, yes to that one. And every time you're doing that, you're building up the conviction yourself to go ahead and move forward and take the trade. That's what you have to do, okay? Because there's never getting around the fact you're taking risk when you take a trade. You're taking risk. What's the worst thing that can happen, I tell people? Worst thing that can happen is you take the risk, you take the trade, and you lose one risk unit. That's it's not the end of the world. And if you can't stomach losing a one trade, then you shouldn't be trading the market at all, Okay? So you have to position size yourself where you have an understanding so that most of the trades you take are positive and work. 
And that helps with conviction too. When you're making money, you have a lot of conviction in what you're doing. And when you're losing, you don't have any, and plus you're in fear. Here, this is actually setting up again. Crazy! I, I'm not doing this, but look, this is following through. Jeez Louise. This breaks a new low today. It's gone to 20, 60. Oh. Goodness. Looks like it's actually going to do it. I'm not in this. No. No. This looks like it's on its way to the number today. And, I, and I, I'm not in this afternoon here. I mean, I just did this in the morning. But this, here. Actually, we just we just saw this happen live. And again, I'm not in this now. I did it this morning. It was a great trade. But do you see why? Like, here, look. This just happened really hard. Like, this hit. And when it hit, it hit really hard and fast. Do you see? That's selling action. That's selling action that's making that hit fast. That's pure selling. Unadulterated selling. This is going to make a new low. Wow. I didn't think it was going to after that rally back and the time of the day is late and everything else. But, you know, it's too late now. You should be in it. You should be in it if you want to be in it. It's too late now unless this gets back up somewhere. Somewhere in the low 30s, you can do it. Stop has to be over the 15 minute. I mean, you're playing the 15 minute now on this. Jesus does look good again. There it is. So, and actually, I'm seeing this now. This is really, if this does get down in the low, it will have a large move, possibly 20, 50 then or something if this breaks this area. This looks good, though. So that was that was selling, and it came in hard. So that's a sign of weakness, and we just saw it happen live. So this is WTW. It's a nice bearish gap. Did it on Friday. Did it today. Really just was phenomenal, the move that it had this morning. You could have done it a couple of times. You could be in it here now, and I really thought if it got over 55, 60, to just stay away from it. But if you stayed with it and stayed with it and stayed with it and did the 15-minute trigger, it's actually intact. It's actually holding. If you did this now, the stop has to be over the 15-minute pivot. It just confirmed there with that nice red bar, the one of the sell-off, that it looks good. And targeting this still is in play. Still has a good risk to reward if it follows through and continues. But again, if you made money this morning, you just might want to be off and done for the day. Uh, and, and I'm done for the day too, but I love this lower. So who knows? This could, this could have a one, two, three down again a third day tomorrow, depending on where this closes today. We'll have to just see where this actually closes today. But WTW, beautiful, beautiful short Friday, beautiful short today. Love the chart. It's definitely lower. I have to understand gaps to know to be able to do something like this that looks like this from Thursday to Friday. But it's real. It's real. It's there. It's confirming everything. I love the follow through. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. This is WTW, Stock Swish Show Play of the Day today and Friday. Really nice bearish gap from Friday, February 14th. It was Valentine's Day present from the market to me. And if you'd like to learn how to rate gaps, email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. And the next Golden Gap class is this weekend, February 22nd and 23rd. If you would like to sign up for this class to, to get these trades, to understand the gaps, to take the trades, to make the money short any stocks, then you can learn how in the class. This is Melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic day.